Hello everyone. Happy Monday. I forgot that I was vlogging. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, we um, obviously I went to work, got home, had some leftovers from yesterday, the pastel de papa, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> uh, woke up about what, an hour ago? Yeah, about an hour, yeah. About an hour ago. What time is it now? Eight, I think, because yeah, they're close, right? Around and then we came for a walk. Um, we're doing this thing where we walk all the way to Santana Rail and back and it ends up being about three miles. So it's a pretty good walk. And then today, I decided we would reward ourselves with an ice cream. Um, so we bought an ice cream. It was called Brookies and Cream. Brookies and Cream. Brookies and Cream. And it's, I think he said, ice cream with brownie. Brookies and Cream ice cream. Was it brownie. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll see how that is. Um, they said they only had a pints flavor. I guess probably to make it more sanitary. Which is cool, but... They're all prepackaged, so that you don't have to... They're not really touching your stuff. It's already prepackaged. Which I guess is cool, but I wish they would have chosen smaller sizes, because if you want to try multiple flavors, you can't. Because nice. a pint's kind of big, if you've never had it before. But, but for one person, it is. Yeah. And it's kind of expensive. 11 bucks for the pint, so... Which I paid for, because he forgot yeah, his card. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. How convenient. Um, so now we're just going to start walking back. It is getting dark. Can't see me smiling. Great again, like with my eyes. Can you tell you're smiling with your eyes? <laughs> oh, you're. See? Why you look so mad? Oh, he is so mad. Are you so mad? I did 10 minutes. I did 10 minutes. Are you so mad? <laughs> He's so mad. All right, so my sister and her friend Alina made some cookies for us. <gasps> they look delicious. <laughs> so they're chocolate chip cookies, and they added walnuts to them. And coffee. Oh, and coffee. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone, and happy Tuesday. Just got home, made some really quick dinner. I wanted to make nachos, but I realized that I have everything for nachos except for... The veggie part and nachos are not complete without the veggie part in my opinion <gasps> now i'm not gonna have avocado great um yeah i was missing lettuce and tomato but now i'm missing avocado i don't know what's happening but anyways um yeah so i decided to make some hot dogs so let me show you guys um what i made it's super simple super easy but it's really hot today it's like 85 degrees and i didn't feel like making like a very um uh what do you call it? Meal? Complicated meal? Complex. Complex meal. My sister mashed up some avocado. We just added lemon, um, oil, and salt. That's like the easiest way that we usually eat our avocado. There's the hot dogs with multi-grain buns, mayo, ketchup, mustard, chips. And that's what we're having for dinner. Okay, so, story time. No, not really. So, ooh. Ooh. Um, so me and Frisco have the problem that all of our clothes shrinks. We haven't yet decided if we're getting bigger or the clothes is getting bigger, but we'd like smaller. to think, oh, smaller, but we'd like to think it's the clothes getting smaller because I've noticed that a lot of my leggings became short. So I'm pretty sure if I grew, it would be sideways not upwards anymore so we came to the conclusion that our clothes are shrinking so we have been hang drying our clothes when we can or we'll throw it in like one of those giant laundry mat um dryers like the huge huge ones that it's like for like eight loads or something we'll throw all of our clothes that we don't want shrinking like pants and 
leggings, sweaters, all that. And then we'll put it on um, low tumble or whatever, which is like cold. And it works really well. Since then, nothing's shrunk. But in our little laundromat that we have here in our apartment complex, the delicate setting does not work. Like, it's hot as hell. And we tried it, and a lot of our clothes shrunk. <sighs> Ever since this whole shelter in place started, we stopped using the laundromat for obvious reasons. It just makes it easier to use it here, although people are using it here. There's germs anyways. But at least we can be home more than being around people. Um, but we need to figure out a solution for hang drying our clothes. So we started putting it in our shower. But that just kind of gets in the way, and it's annoying. So, I looked on Amazon, which is always our savior, and I found something, which I got in the mail the other day. I don't think I showed you guys yet, so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Neat. Our new hanger buddy. Look at it. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So, it comes with three arms, and each arm holds... I wonder what the holes are for. Do you think you have to put hangers through there, too, if you want to? I would assume so, right? So you put one Maybe here. That's to no, that's too complicated. I don't think so. I don't know. But either way, you can put them up here. Or I guess you can maybe put them through here. I don't know. I'm not going to use them through here. That's way too much work. So if you just put them on top, you can fit one, two, three, four, five, six per arm. What's six and three? Eighteen. 18. So it's a total of 18. So you can hang 18 things. Also, don't pay attention to our clothes. Apparently... Because we put it on cold washing. All this stuff, like, I don't know, didn't dissolve. That we use, like, all of our OxyClean and nonsense. So we put it the next load in warm. But anyways, yeah. So now we're hang drying our clothes. And you pretty much collapse it like you, were, you would an umbrella. So when you press this little button, all the little arms just kind of fold down. And same thing with the legs. It goes up like a little tripod. And then you store it away. So I think it was like $25 or something like that. So I'll try to link it if I remember. But I thought it was so, so cool. And it doesn't take up like a lot of space. Of course it's going to take up space because it's big. But it's not too bad. I mean, it was just going to be for like 24 hours until they dry up. But I thought it was really cool. Alright, so... Today is Thursday, and our dinner for today is going to be nachos, and I put some refried beans that I just warmed up on the stove. They're canned beans. Um, I'll show you guys the brand in a little bit. I don't remember what it is. And then there is some pot roast, no, chuck roast meat. Like how soft that is. It just falls right apart. So I used that for the meat. I don't know why. I just really wanted to use it for nachos. I thought it was going to taste really yummy. And there's cheese in there, there, lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, sour cream, and Cholula on the top. So that's gonna be. Happy, happy Friday, everyone. We've made it through the week. And I just got home. I picked up some Ray's Crab Shack, which is why I'm wearing this bib. I'll show you guys right now what I picked up. It's always the same thing. But Francisco was craving it, so we decided to pick it up. Last night, we ended up not doing his hair. So we're probably going to be doing that today. Uh, so thankfully, the food is going to be fast. So it'll leave us more time to be able to play with his hair. Um, I need to go pick up an order that I placed for drive up at Target. So that way I don't have to go in. And then we might try to do a Zoom call with my friend and do like drinks, happy hour Zoom. I haven't tried it, so I don't know if it's going to work. It might be a fail, but we'll see. And yeah, just wanted to say hello, see how you guys are doing, and let me show you guys what we're having for dinner. We got the shrimp without head, ultimate power seasoning, medium spice. Got some noodles, steamed rice, and there's my sister's food over there, and then I saved my french fry craving for another day this weekend because i'm sure we're probably gonna eat out again and then i usually do like some lemon on the side so i can dip my shrimp and that's what dinner is gonna be so we went to target and i ordered this online and put it as drive up 
because I didn't want to get down and have to deal with the line and people and everything. So they brought it out to your, my car. And it's the tasty, latest and greatest, everything you want to cook right now. Cookbook. Um, it has pretty good stuff in it. I was taking a quick, just look through it. Like, this one looks really good. Of course, you can, like, tweak the recipes and add or remove stuff that you wouldn't typically use. Like, for example, this one. I don't think I would do the pineapple juice or pineapples. Um... This one, for example, looks really yummy. Uh, ooh, that looks really good, too. Giant cinnamon roll. All right, folks, here we go. Round two. We're trying to make Francisco's hair look silver. Right now, he has a lot of grown-out hair. So it's really, really dark. So we're going to try to bleach all that and then turn everything else silver. What are your hopes? That it works? Because the last time I did it. Wow, it worked. You're orange. It just didn't no, get silver. It didn't work like it was supposed to, or as intended, as I thought it would. And then we're going to trim his hair a little bit. See how yeah. that works out. All right, so first up, we're starting with the bleach. And pretty much what I did is I just took one ounce. Is it one ounce? No, one teaspoon. Yeah, one teaspoon of this one right here. It's the Ion Bright White Powder Lightener, uh, whatever. So I took one teaspoon of that, and it's supposed to be one to two ratio. So you take one teaspoon and then two teaspoons of your developer. And I picked this one up. This is a 10 volume developer, and it's for sensitive scalp. So it's supposed to be a little more gentle on your skin. And my sister is making. Can I open it? Uh, maybe a little bit. Banana bread. It's red in there. All right, so here is the banana bread. Mmm, look how pretty it looks. Smells even better. I'll leave the recipe below if I remember. But, isn't that so pretty? And then, over here, we have Francisco. With his hair in the process of being bleached. attention to my hair it's a disaster i need a shower but francisco wants to go for a walk so i think we're gonna go for a walk right now and then probably gonna get home shower do my hair maybe do my makeup like a light face of makeup i'm not sure and then wait are we gonna eat first or we're we gonna go for a walk first sir i go for a walk first you wanna go for a walk first yeah i think so so I guess we're going to go for a walk and then we're going to come back home and do, um, whatever else we're going to do. I don't know. Oh, we wanted to walk over to Bevma, which is about a mile away, um, and get a few drinks because tonight we're supposed to be doing a zoom with my friend. We haven't tried it. I've seen everybody talking about how they've been doing like happy hour zoom and all that. So I think we'd give it a try and see if it ends up being fun or not. I don't know might be a little awkward the first time but i haven't seen her in a long time and her babies are so cute and i miss seeing them so i told her we should do zoom a cocktail maybe something like that so we're super excited to try that out tonight this is gonna be our late lunch i'm gonna make this in the microwave it's literally just 90 seconds super easy and it's brown rice and red brown and red rice with chia and kale so it's supposed to be pretty healthy compared to like other rice and stuff um so yeah you just squeeze it you tear it and you put it in the microwave. I make myself a mini tiny little cucumber. And then I'm gonna heat this up. This is the roast beef from the other day. So this is what lunch is going to be. So there's rice under all that meat and juice and all that. And then there is the cucumber. Mm -hmm. So pretty much all I did with the cucumbers, I add a ton of lemon because me and my sister really, really like lemon. And add a little bit of oil and salt. And that's pretty much all we do with that. And there it is all right ladies and gentlemen so this here it's my favorite 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 drink to have of course it's alcoholic i have no idea what the percentage is but it's a lambic beer and i like the raspberry flavor it's framboise i don't know what language that's on i'm assuming belgium maybe i don't know but it's so 
so so so delicious it's a big old bottle and it comes with the cork which is right there francisco just took it out and it tastes so delicious it looks like wine so if you're not a wine drinker but you want to pretend to be this is the best thing to have what are you having babe it's gonna be trying uh stone brewing's F fml can you show it fear movie lines is a double ipa fear movie lines oh so it has like tropical hits and then it has also uh um some citrus notes in it so it kind of tastes like a uh, alcoholic orange juice that's the one it's that we smelled the other day yeah yeah it smelled like capri sun or something it's kind of weird do you like it yeah i liked it last time um oh. uh, this is the first time that i tried it so mm -hmm. i was pretty impressed with it it has a pretty good uh amount of alcohol in it as well so oh wow 8.5 yeah, it gets you going i think mine has like a 4.5 right it's like super low I think so, yeah. yeah. And we went to a Yard House. I don't know if this is a chain. I've said this before. I think it might be. It, be. it is, right? But yeah. it's not everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, I don't know where it is. But we have one which is like a mile away. So it's super close. But typically we don't eat there that much because it's expensive. But they have the sale right now, which is 20 wings for $20. And it's like the best deal for wings that we can find around us. And the wings are actually pretty decent. This are going to be Korean and these are ancho barbecue. I don't know what that means. But they're actually really flavorful and really yummy. Then over there we got the onion rings. I'm out of breath. And a side of french fries because I adore french fries. So let me give you guys an aerial look. That's supposed to be the onion tower. But of course there's no tower. They're just onions. There we go. Happy Sunday. I am making bagels. Mini bagels with eggs and coffee. I'll show you guys right now what they look like. They're so weird. Francisco wanted to try them, the eggs. But um, we need to clean up around the apartment today a little bit because it's kind of a mess. I cleaned up uh, my room last night, but I think I need to vacuum the living room and all that. Um, today, we're probably going to try to eat in all day today at home. Well, not it's not like we can eat out, but we eat from the outside. But today, I'm going to cook all day because my sister's birthday week is next week. And um, usually what we do... Huh? She says we're going to get wasted. No, we're not. She doesn't like drinking. Um, usually what we do for our birthdays is we give each other a birthday week. And then that whole week, we get to decide what we want to eat, where we want to go uh, for food. It's mostly focused around food. We're very, very big food people, if you haven't noticed that yet. Her birthday's on, uh, Saturday. That's her birthday, so on that day we might do, like, a little cake and whatever food she decides, but, um, leading up to that day, she sent me a list of things she wants to do. I keep saying she wants to do, no, but she wants to eat. So, like I said, most of them are going to be out, so I figured today we just should eat here. That way we prepare for the upcoming week, try to eat somewhat healthy. Not really. I don't know what we're going to do. I have a lot of veggies I need to go through, so I'm probably going to pick them to see what I have. I have an eggplant that I need to make. Maybe I'll do that today. We'll see. I've never made it. I want to make uh, eggplant parmesan. It might be a disaster. It might be delicious. We'll see. So these are the eggs that Francisco wanted to buy. He thought they were so cool because, oh, it says rich amber yolk. So that's what's kind of weirding me out right there, but... He liked them because they were different colors. He thought they looked really cool. So this is what they look like. They're blue. Nope, this is still it. They're blue and brown. And that's what the yolk looks like right there. It's like pretty much orange. So I haven't tried them yet. Hopefully they don't taste too weird. Six rounds protein per egg. Oh wow, that's a lot. But yeah, so that's what we're having for breakfast with the mini little bagel. And I'm gonna make... Make myself the Stoke cold brew coffee kitties are getting a new scratcher today we like to get them these well not specifically these we usually get them the thicker ones because they can't lift it as easy because they're heavier but these are from amazon i think they're a little cheaper obviously because they're uh thinner but they come on both sides so they have a scratcher and we've learned that if we have some of these out for them all the time they don't actually scratch anything else in the house so they won't scratch the carpet the couches nothing she noticed that it's the new one already <laughs> look at her the puss and lower look babe
Hey, what's your little foot doing? Huh? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Did you forget what you were doing? I'm eating Oreo cookies. I found Oreo thins that are... Let me show you guys. These cookies are the best cookies to exist. So if you guys see them, pick them up. They're the Oreo thins dark chocolate <coughs> flavor. Yeah, dark chocolate flavor. <gasps> so, so good. Snacking on that until dinner's ready, but I've been caught. I was gonna make some Philly cheesesteak with fake meat and not tell Francisco, but he came and saw that it's fake meat. So now he knows, but hopefully it'll taste good. Let me show you guys what we got going so far. So this is what we have so far. I am frying some onions with bell peppers and I just threw in some garlic salt or garlic powder. Yeah, garlic powder with parsley and salt. This is the garlic powder that I have just because I couldn't find garlic salt. So I just got garlic powder with parsley and then just added salt. And then I'm going to throw this in a little bit. The veggie meal starter griller crumble. I tried this at work. My boss, her wife is a vegetarian and they eat this all the time. So she recommended it to me. So we're going to try this right now. I'm going to shred some of this cheese into the mixture. And then earlier today we bought some bread at Lucky's. So... They're nice and fluffy and fresh, so we're gonna put the meat in there. All right, and this is what it looks like. I threw some cheese within the mixture and on top so it would melt, and now I'm gonna put them in a little buns over here.